This is an English-speaking test practice to help you develop your fluency, coherence, vocabulary resource, grammatical range, and pronunciation in the English language. Here are the five topics we will discuss on. 1. Have you ever had to overcome a difficult situation? How did you handle it? 2. Do you think it is important to learn a foreign language? Why or why not? 3. What do you think are the benefits of traveling to different countries? 4. How do you usually spend your weekends? 5. Have you ever had to overcome a difficult situation? How did you handle it? Let's start with the first question. Have you ever had to overcome a difficult situation? How did you handle it? Yes, I have had to overcome a difficult situation in my life. It was a few years ago, when I was in my final year of university. I was taking on a heavy course load and working part-time to support myself. My father had recently lost his job, and my family was struggling financially. I felt overwhelmed and stressed out, but I knew that I needed to find a way to persevere. I began by prioritizing my responsibilities and making a schedule to ensure that I was meeting all of my deadlines. I also spoke with my professors to discuss my situation and asked for any additional help or accommodations. To cope with my stress and anxiety, I started practicing meditation and yoga regularly. This helped me stay calm and centered, even during the most stressful times. I also reached out to my friends and family for emotional support, and they were very understanding and encouraging. Despite the challenges, I was able to successfully complete my degree and graduate with honors. Looking back, I am proud of myself for being able to handle such a difficult situation. It taught me that with perseverance, determination, and a strong support system, I can overcome any obstacle that comes my way. Second question. Do you think it is important to learn a foreign language? Why or why not? Yes, I believe it is important to learn a foreign language. There are several reasons why I think this is the case. Firstly, learning a foreign language opens up new opportunities and allows for greater cultural understanding. By learning another language, you can communicate with people from different countries and cultures, which can broaden your perspective and help you develop a deeper appreciation for diversity. Secondly, learning a foreign language can also be beneficial for professional development. Many employers value employees who are proficient in more than one language, especially in today's global economy. Knowing a foreign language can also make you a more competitive candidate for jobs that involve international travel or interaction with foreign clients. Additionally, learning a foreign language can also have cognitive benefits. Studies have shown that learning a second language can improve cognitive functions such as memory, attention, and problem-solving skills. It can also delay the onset of cognitive decline in older adults. However, I do recognize that learning a foreign language can be challenging and time-consuming. It requires a lot of practice and dedication, and not everyone has the time or resources to devote to learning another language. But even if someone only learns a few phrases or words, it can still be beneficial for communication and cultural understanding. Overall, I believe that learning a foreign language is important because it can open up new opportunities, improve cultural understanding, and have cognitive benefits. What do you think are the benefits of traveling to different countries? Traveling to different countries can have many benefits, both personal and professional. Firstly, it can broaden your perspective and help you develop a deeper appreciation for different cultures. By immersing yourself in a new environment, you can learn about different customs, traditions, and ways of life. Secondly, traveling can also improve your communication skills. When you travel to a country where a different language is spoken, you have the opportunity to practice your language skills and learn new words and phrases. This can make you a more effective communicator, both in your personal and professional life. Thirdly, traveling can also help you develop independence and self-confidence. When you travel to a foreign country, you are forced to navigate new surroundings and situations, which can be challenging but also rewarding. It can help you become more self-sufficient and confident in your abilities. 
Additionally, traveling can also have career benefits. Many employers value employees who have experience working or traveling abroad, as it shows adaptability, cultural awareness, and language skills. It can also help you build a professional network and establish business relationships in other countries. However, it is important to acknowledge that traveling can also have its challenges, such as language barriers, cultural differences, and homesickness. But overall, I believe that the benefits of traveling to different countries outweigh the challenges. It can broaden your horizons, improve your communication skills, and help you become more independent and self-confident. How do you usually spend your weekends? On weekends, I try to strike a balance between relaxation and productivity. I usually wake up a little later than usual and enjoy a leisurely breakfast. Then I try to exercise or engage in some physical activity, such as hiking or cycling, to stay active and healthy. After that, I usually spend some time catching up on any unfinished work or household chores that need to be done. This can include things like laundry, cleaning, and grocery shopping. In the afternoons, I like to do something fun or social. This could be meeting up with friends for lunch or going to see a movie or a show. I also enjoy trying out new restaurants or cafes in my area. In the evenings, I like to wind down and relax. This could involve reading a book, watching a movie, or practicing yoga and meditation to help me distress and prepare for the week ahead. Occasionally, I also use weekends as an opportunity to travel or explore new places. This could be a day trip to a nearby town or a weekend getaway to a different city or country. Overall, I try to use my weekends as a time to recharge and reset, while also being productive and making the most of my free time. Have you ever had to overcome a difficult situation? How did you handle it? Yes, I have faced difficult situations in my life, and I believe that these challenges have helped me grow and develop as a person. One of the most difficult situations I faced was when I lost my job unexpectedly. It was a difficult time for me, as I had bills to pay and was unsure of how I was going to make ends meet. However, I tried to remain positive and focused on finding a new job. I began by updating my resume and reaching out to my network for job leads. I also took the opportunity to learn new skills and take on freelance work while I was searching for a full-time job. This allowed me to stay productive and motivated despite the setback. Ultimately, my hard work paid off, and I was able to secure a new job that I was excited about. Looking back, I believe that this difficult situation helped me become more resilient and adaptable. It taught me the importance of being proactive and resourceful when faced with unexpected challenges. In conclusion, overcoming difficult situations is never easy, but it can be a valuable learning experience. By staying positive, focused, and proactive, we can navigate these challenges and emerge stronger and more capable.